Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more as our uh, Mongolian Khanate here going for the Great Khan Achievement. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. If you are, please show your support and leave a like on the video. It's honestly the best way to show your support. And uh, if you want to check out the Discord, the link is in the description down below. There's a great growing community down there and I look forward to talking to you. So let's get into it. Um, in the last episode, I think it was the last episode, we uh, destroyed the Ming and uh, Mandate is tanked. The uh, unguarded nomadic frontier is fired and he is going down. And we got these two dudes who hate us but are um, loyal because, you know, they don't have a choice. We have Korea as a tribute. So we're getting lots of mill points from tribute. Do we have a mill idea group? We have humanist. We do have aristocratic still, so we're ahead of time on this one. <clears throat> I think we can switch them all to um, admin. And then these guys will siege. I think it's about time I improved some relations with you, so I can probably take this guy back. And we're going to focus on expanding in other directions this time around. Um, I've been super lazy. I can definitely expand it into Kazakh, because he is only allied to Gazakamuk. Um, financially, we are, we're so good. Like, we're totally good. Um, I should probably improve my trade power in a couple of these nodes over here. Matter of fact, how loyal are these guys? Not very loyal. So Shun and Jin are both disloyal if I demand trade from them. So I, I will not do that. Manpower is totally not an issue. So get you guys joined up over here. Um, these... I do have, hmm, oh, I gave him a fort over here. See, I got rid of a fort I had here, and I gave him a fort here. So I don't think that will actually <clears throat> elicit a zone of control in my lands. Um, I'm not sure if it matters a whole lot. We're not going to worry about building another fort there. Um, I will Royal Mary Ashikaga. Right, I'll take the... Uh, We'll take that tick there, and we will move you guys over yonder. Because we're going to eat Kazakh now. And I also need to finish off these guys over here. Um, Takeda, so he is a dai daimyo. He is also a daimyo. So Japan is about to be um, fully realized. So that's good. Um, so give him some time to get over there and they'll send you over here. <clears throat> as far as printing press goes, I think we are way, way ahead of time when it comes to colonialism. So let's see here. Yes, we have it before anybody down here is going to have it. Um, so we have colonialism. These people are just now getting renaissance. Um, let me see here. Does colonialism spread nearby friendly province? Cool. So none of these guys is going to get colonialism anytime soon. So that's good. <clears throat> he um, may not even have renaissance embrace. So Kazakh and Gazakmuk are going to be n literally nothing to worry about. And we can get a huge border with Timmy. Who it looks like Timmy's actually not doing so good. We have a truce with him for a while. He's allied to Ming. I really need to break that alliance. So, let's see here. Annex Tibet. So, Kathmandu and Tibet are both vassals of mine. Or not, to, yeah, Tibet is, Kathmandu is also. <coughs> Excuse me, they're both tributaries. Kathmandu is probably a good one. Or Tibet is one. So let's actually cancel that tributary. And that gives me a truce with them for five years. Um, and then eventually we're going to beat up on him. I will not lose Ming Imperial Authority. Um, so I can actually... Do you have any claims down here? Hmm. If I wanted to, I could truce, base, truce break Ming. Timmy would help him out, though. The AE wouldn't be anything major because um, we're basically just fighting against... It would just be against these guys down here. Yan, we would be able to full annex eventually. Shu, Min. So basically all the Confucian guys would join in. 
but I don't think it's worth truce breaking at this point. If I were going to do it, I should have done it earlier when there wasn't any other guys. So I'm thinking I would like to catch up on admin tech, but at the same time, I would also like to get a couple of these states, states stated up. So let's see here. What are we looking at? Eastern huh, Hyla something, something, something. That's a crazy name. I think that's over here, right? No? Where is this stuff? Inner Mongolia. Okay, so here you go. Eastern. And we will core that up and we will core it all. And Central is the other one. Right here. And we'll core that up when we can. <clears throat> Very good. Let's just get these guys over there. You're going to turn on our army maintenance and we will turn a couple of these forts on over here. Doesn't look like we actually have any out here. So just turn those guys on. Financially, we're going to start losing a little bit. We're going to dip a little bit, but it's it's really not a big deal at all. I'd... Ooh, he's guaranteed by Russia. <gasps> oh no, that's no good. Um... Russia's enemies with the Ottomans. Can I rival Russia? I would really like to rival Russia. I can. It'll cost me a hundred Diplo, but it's worth it. Cause then I can probably try to snake a relation with, uh, or an alliance with the Ottomans. Eventually, maybe not, but we'll go for it. Besides, if that's the case, if we can attack um, Kazakh and then he will bring him in, then that'll be good. One second, my dog's chewing on something over here. What's up? Sorry about that. Dog's a goofball and he likes to uh, nibble on stuff. Anyways, let us continue, not speed five. I think, hmm, yeah, that's a tough one. Cause I'm definitely a great power out here. But he wouldn't want to join me. <clears throat> what about another sync different syncretic faith? Trade efficiency is a good one. Admin cost is okay. Animist is not that good. Dev cost is okay. Hindus, okay. Tolerance is nice, I suppose. Ideally, you get Shinto. I think Shinto gives you an extra... Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, what's what I'm looking for? Uh... What is this? Goodness gracious. Discipline. 5% discipline, I think. But I might be making that up. So it looks like we're actually going to war with um, with Russia. I mean, it's, it shouldn't be a big deal. His army is probably pretty large. Uh, let's see here. Rivals and allies. So he's got a really big army, but I would be able to... <coughs> oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I have something tickling my chest, and it is... Driving me insane in the membrane. So he allied Timmy. <laughs> of course he did. Of course he allied Timmy. Why wouldn't he ally Timmy? <clears throat> okay. So this is what's going to happen. We are going to attack Timmy. Oh my gosh, really? This is a huge alliance network. Our truce with Ming is going to be for forever. So... I'm thinking what's going to happen is I'm going to attack Kazakh. I'm going to run in and I'm going to siege down Timmy as quickly as I can. Peace him out to annul alliances with Ming. Um, ideally Ming as well as Malwa, but <clears throat> I'm not going to press my luck here. <coughs> I am so sorry. I am so upset about this coughing. Anyways, um, this is quite unfortunate, honestly, because with Russia joining... Is there any other way I can do this? Hmm. <clears throat> so he's in some crazy debt. He might not actually join after a minute. If I wait a few more months, I don't think he's going to join because of his debt. Maybe. Russia's actually at... Rush is not at war. Oh, he is at war, but truce with Timmy is over. Hmm. 
So are you at war actually? You are not. So I wonder if Kazan could get rented an army that could then go beat up on the Russians. <clears throat> Let us see. I would prefer that they paid for it. Um, so let's actually see if we can give you some subsidies. And on the 4th of November, we're going to see if we can do this. So which one do we want? 610 probably, 511. Doesn't matter a whole lot. This guy's got a leader on it, so we're actually going to take that one. Um, so you are now rented to him. We can possibly kill some Russians from that. Um, and if we could actually cause the Russians enough devastation, they will actually not help, right? So that's the best way to keep track of that over here. Um, so he is not too mad at me anymore so i'm gonna have him divert trade to me now will give me some more trade in the beijing node so we can transfer some more need to siege back kazakh actually <clears throat> might be able to get a stack wipe over here let's see here yes so we can get a couple little stack wipes here he will be here on the 18th and we'll be here on the 6th. So he's gonna attack me. There's no river cross, there is a river crossing, very good. So 22nd, 18th. I don't know if I can actually win this seed, this battle, but um, it's gonna be really good for me. Okay, we actually did win it. Cool, and so the idea is, is what we wanna do is just beat up on Russia till they won't join. So I need this war to go on. Um, is this his capital? Okay, so let's siege this back for him. Why do I have multiple armies here? <clears throat> Why does it say I have multiple armies? I'm not sure. So he's fleeing back to here? Really? Okay, that's a... That wasn't a fleeing army, that was just an army. So... We're gonna siege this down. It's not worth spending the mill points to get that, but... <clears throat> I'll take the admin. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, idea. So I'm actually going to wait until I get that. That's the move. Two more months, probably. Yep. Okay, Uzbek is... So Russia is actually getting really close to not defending him. I can defend against Timmy. That's okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I will take the... Oh, no. Oh, my. Oh, my. Um. So this is going to be on the 22nd. Goodness. Uh, this stack might get killed, actually. No? Okay, honestly, he lost a ton of men. I have enough manpower and money that it does not matter at all. Um, Riku is guaranteed by Ming. Hmm? So our queen died. So Ashikaga is attacking him. I want to see if Ming is going to join. So Ming did join. <coughs> um, I mean, I could fight Ming. I doubt they have any men in the field. Okay, I guess we will accept and we will send some men over here with uh, this dude. Um, the only thing is, is that sets up this one to hold for a bit, which is 
Okay, so Timmy, if Timmy and Russia don't join, then it's it's an easy e easy war. So we just need to be on that. Another idea cost. Oh, so upsetting. I could have saved twenty percent, and I only saved ten on this idea. That would have been juicy. Interesting. All right, so let's get you guys up here. Hmm, let's see here. Let's just have you guys beeline it for Beijing. Let's actually say that I want all this land here. So if you were to decide that you wanted to give it to me, that would be fine with me. Um, yes, and all this as well, for that matter. All right. Let us see if we can get some little stack wipes over here. Just teeny tiny ones. Uh, not that one. Let's see if we can... See, he's taking a ton of attrition as well over here. So, his manpower is probably gone. <clears throat> yeah. So is Timmy's, actually. Both of them are very close to not joining. <clears throat> Where did that army go? <clears throat> I lost sight of them. Okay, um, so you're coming up here. Um, I might be able to chase you. If I can single out this one army, I win that one. I don't know where that other big army is, though. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there's a big army right there, actually. Um, let's see here. So they'll be on the first, and I'll be on the third, so we would not be a defender. <clears throat> Can catch this army out over here. A little six stack. <clears throat> six stack of artillery. <coughs> oh my gosh. I do not feel good. I'm sorry. The show must go on. Um, Kurgan. So they're locked in, so we might be able to come over here and stack wipe them. This is actually putting them into uh, a lot of debt as well. Chill, man. My dog's making some whiny noises. Hey, come here, buddy. Come here. So, what is this? You have rented out Cantadiari that can be pulled back. It's okay. I don't need it. We're just going to siege down their province over here. Ming has literally no men in the field that I need to worry about, so... Um... Basically, I just want to beat up on the Ruskies until they won't join. So... Let's see here. I could run all the way to Moscow. <laughs> I won't. I should probably try to siege down this province, though. Oh, man. That's a big army, though. Okay. So wait until you lock in and come over here and stack wipe this army. Because <clears throat> nobody will be able to reinforce that one. Oh, maybe it's not a stack wipe, but it was a lot of men. So Russia is now in debt. Let's see if we can catch out that other army. So we lost the siege somewhere. Okay. And this siege on Yongzhu is going quite well. Swimmingly. Ashikaga pieced out, separate piece somebody. So let's pull these guys back. If we can actually take trade from Shun, we will. Sorry if you guys hear my dog whining. He's, he's being a little baby. Come on, buddy. Hey. This is a bit of a... Distracting episode, I suppose. Lots of random stuff going on that should not be. All right. Wait till next year. Let's see here. So Ruskies wouldn't join. Timmy still would, but I don't know if that's actually that bad. <clears throat> Hmm, so this is Separatists. Which 
Just wait until next year for that tick. So he's holding on, man. All right, so I think I should actually probably try to get his war enthusiasm up a bit by coming over here. We won the Siege of Yangzhou, and we will come over here to this Nanjing. This is so dumb. I just don't want to handle all this reformation stuff. So if I could separate piece out. Hmm. Does Ashikaga trust me? Oh yes, they trust me. So it looks like I do need to get down here into Tibet, and that gives me another route to expand over here. So, got Separatists from Russia. So there's no chance he's going to join now. Between the debt. So are you at war with anybody? No. Stab, government progress, or money in the bank. I don't care about government reform, so I guess I will take the stab. I believe we have prosperity in the home. In our capital, we do not. Alright, well, let's get that. So we die, our theologian died. Let's go with, uh, what's better? Production or tax? Let's go with tax modifier. Are we really gaining that much money a month? Really? From trade? Spoils of war, huh? <clears throat> Where are those coming from? Nanjing. Very good. Still, we're still getting a ton from non-spoils of war, which is really good. Okay. So I think, honestly, we're just waiting until... Um, Timmy is not able to join this war against Kazakh, and then we will... Which may not happen, honestly. Because every month that we wait is a month towards him stabilizing his economy and stuff. See, we we could do some stuff to aid in our economy moving forward. Like, these would honestly be the best, but it's tough. Is that a cloth province in the mountains? Let me see, where is this? Corcorum or whatever? Cloth province in the mountains. Isn't that a shame? So it's 35 dev cost, 10 dev cost. Makes me cry every time. All right, next month, there we go. Trade efficiency. And we also do not lose any innovativeness, which didn't really matter anyways. <coughs> Decline of tribal influence. Let's uh, get them loyal. And that will help us out with our economy as well. So we won the Siege of Nanjing. And uh, we might as well see if we can chase these guys down. Siege down the capital of my vassal. Bummer. Just need to watch out, because they probably have like, yeah, these big old stacks. Look at that. All those 5k men just dying. If this isn't like Russia in a nutshell, in basically all <clears throat> history and wars, I don't know what is. So if we get really lucky and win this 14% siege, we can just revoke Kandadiari right now, probably. Timmy is still at five. I just want him to go to war so I can, I can do something to prevent him from getting to me. Okay, so he peaced out. Cool. So, he still won't join. Timmy will. Hmm. So, I'm thinking that I actually bring these guys over here. And bring these guys down. Oh. Don't want to fight them if I can avoid it. Bring these guys over here. <clears throat> I think we attack Kazakh. Have Timmy revoke his um, alliance with Ming and all treaties. Um, ideally, I just get a white piece with Ming so I can attack him in five years. That's really what I'd like, but it'll depend. It will all depend. So we're losing money now. So let's uh, turn off some of these forts over here. 
Chinese are not going to march men all the way around there. If they do, they deserve the forts, right? <clears throat> Our master recruiter is dead, so let's go with land maintenance modifier, which is juicy. Ideally, we'd get like a commandant or somebody for discipline, but <laughs> it's not a big deal. Separatists risen up in my uh, vassal's land, so let's actually take care of those real quick. <clears throat> Matter of fact, we could probably wipe out Tibet since Ming will not join him. What about attacking Timmy directly? No. Okay. There's nothing we can do, or we lose Diplo. I love both of those ideas. Okay, so we're done with that. We get a land shock leader, land maintenance modifier, and land siege leader. <clears throat> as well as merchant trade power abroad, trade efficiency, and religious unity. Think we get rid of this for now? Oh, wait. <clears throat> we can't until 65, so I guess we're losing some admin. That's fine. Um, we're going to keep on focusing admin since we're behind on tech there. Um, so this is actually going to help our economy out. We got another... We have three merchants? What? Jeez, OP. <clears throat> Alright, well I guess we have three merchants to transfer. So let's transfer from there. Um, we're already transferring from here. Let's transfer... It's towards Beijing. Let's transfer from here. And... Um, we already sent somebody over here, I think transfer from here so let's see how this affects our finances 17.84 <clears throat> and that went up to what okay so it gave us an extra like three ducats a month it's definitely not nothing we have six merchants that's crazy all right so Ming would not join in any wars currently Oh, he revoked his guarantee completely. Well, that's convenient. Hmm. Okay, yes. So we're fighting Timmy. I don't think we have a choice. Unless Timmy goes to war and we can um, devastate some of his lands. It's looking like that's what's going to happen. Prosperity is growing slowly but surely over here. Do have level one advisors across the board, which is super nice. I'll take that. Free manpower, I suppose, is nice. Yeah, he's rock solid at 5%. Let's see if I can get somebody to break their alliance with Timmy if I wanted to attack him directly. Okay, that's fine. So let us track this down a little bit. Let's go to declare on you. Timmy will join. Uh, do you have these forts maintained? He does. Bummer. Oh, that's mothballed. This one's fully maintained, fully maintained. So his internal forts are mothballed. Come on, man. My dog's over here eating a, a lamp's plug. Okay, so we are going to go Tribal Conquest, AE, or, yeah, Tribal Conquest, show superiority. And we're just going to uh, rush down in to Timmy's lands and try to siege him down. Ideally, I should have had this one a little closer, but, you know, it is what it is. And uh, we're just going to try to piece them out separately, annul some treaties if we can, probably a Malwa and Ming, namely, and uh, we'll finish up the war in the next episode. So, I know this one was a bit of a boring episode, didn't do a whole lot, but uh, our economy is booming, we are making tons of money from trade, and um, no corruption, so it's, it's hard to say that we're not making really good progress towards, away from what we were before. So, I am very happy about it, <clears throat> I'm going to separate piece for you. So I get a white piece with Ming. It's going to hurt my trust with Ashikaga. But um, 
that's all fun and dandy cool if you guys are enjoying the series please show your support leave a like on the video it uh helps me out a ton and it takes you no time at all if you want to see some more of this stuff you can subscribe and i want to remind you guys to check out the discord the audio cut out but the link is in the description down below and with all that being said this is chewy shoot and i'll catch you guys later